Hey everyone, in this video we're going to create a combo chart in Microsoft Excel. A combo chart is a great way to combine different chart types into a single one. In this video's example, we're going to use a combo chart to create something that's called an S-curve, which is a graphical way to show cumulative data and is used in industries like project management. And with all that said, let's get into the video. So let's say that I'm preparing for a PowerPoint presentation to show my project updates. And in this presentation, I want to show an S-curve because I want to show cumulative data in terms of my budget and my forecast. So let's first take a look at the data that we have available. So in column A we have our months, and we can see that the project starts in January 2024 and ends in August 2025. In column B we have our monthly budget, and in column C we have our monthly forecast. In column D and E we have our cumulative data for budget and forecast respectively. These two columns are what's going to be used to create our S-curves. Now there are two methods to create the cumulative data, and I'm going to show you both. The first way is like this. You go to the first cell that's available, and you simply make it equal to the first value. So in this case, our first value is $5,000. Then in the next cell, what we'll do is we'll reference the $5,000 above and add the next month's budget. So in this case, 10,000 and we get a result of 15,000. So from here, I'm just gonna double click the fill handle so it copies down the formula for the rest of the cells. So that was the first method, and here's the second method that I actually prefer to use. And the reason why I like it is because you use only one formula instead of two. So here's how you can do it. We're gonna go to the first cell and then enter in the sum function. So our first number is gonna be 6,150 in cell C2 and then I'm going to insert a colon. So let's take a quick moment to look at our formula. So in our sum function, we're referencing the range C2 and C2. So when I hit enter, we just get the result of the same number. And if I was to copy this formula down, I just get the same number again. But at this time, it's referencing cell C3. But if I go back to the first formula, and I make some edits to it, I'm going to insert a dollar sign here, and what this does is it fixes the row reference of the first cell in our range. So now when I hit enter, we're going to get the same number again, but when I copy this formula down, we can see it adds the two values together. And when we look into the formula, we can see that the cell reference C2 remained intact because of the dollar sign, but the other cell referenced is now C3. So now we're able to just fill the rest of the cells with this formula, do a quick sanity check to make sure the numbers are the same, and we're finished. Let's go ahead and create our chart and make these S-curves. So the way I'm going to do it is I'm first going to select the cell in my data set, then go up to the Insert tab, and then click on Insert Combo Chart. I'm going to choose this first option here, and just expand my chart so that it's easier to see on our screen. So something that's glaringly obvious is the total rows being included in our chart. So what I can do here is decrease the range that the chart is based on to exclude the total row. Something else to make note of here is all the values share the same axis. And because they all share the same axis and the values for cumulative budget and cumulative forecast are so much bigger than the monthly budget and forecast values, it's causing the bars to appear really small on our chart. So what we can do to fix this is to put the cumulative budget and cumulative forecast on a secondary axis. So the way to do that is right click the chart itself, click on change chart type, and then in the secondary axis area, just check it off for cumulative budget and cumulative forecast. So from the preview, we can already see that the chart's gonna make a lot more sense. So I'm just gonna click okay now, and now we've updated our chart. So from here, I'm gonna make two more formatting edits, one of which is to use this chart style, and then I'm also gonna change the chart title. I'm gonna put the title as Project Costs. Let's take a moment to analyze the S-curves. So a conclusion that we can make here is that the project is going to spend more money than what was originally budgeted. This can be backed up in a couple of ways, one of which is by looking at the total budget versus the total forecast, as well as visually seeing the individual monthly breakdown between the blue and orange bars. 
we can see that the orange bars are consistently higher than the blue ones. So with that, I think this chart is ready to be put in the presentation. And that's how you create a combo chart in Microsoft Excel, and how to use one to create an S-curve. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below, and if you aren't subscribed to the channel already, hit the subscribe button to see more content like this in the future. I'll see you all in the next video.